Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to Top 5 Friday where I discuss my top 5 of any number of things. Today we are talking about my top 5 horror movie tropes. We will discuss the books at another time, uh, but today I have a special guest, so let's hear from them. Hi guys, Nerdster here. My friend E reached out to me recently uh, to film a little video about what I would consider my favorite horror movie trope, and it took me a while to really think of the one that, for me, is the best trope that there is, but I think I finally landed on it, and that horror movie trope is the jump scare. Now, doesn't matter what horror movie you watch, especially nowadays, it's probably the most common used trope um, from insidious to even like some horror TV shows like uh, The Haunting of Hill House. You'll see it used in such unique and awesome ways that help deliver, uh, I guess, on the jump scare itself. But probably one of my favorite uses of the jump scare of all time, and I'm not sure it even comes technically from a horror movie, but it's from the movie Jaws, when Martin Brody is chumming the fish, I guess, heads or whatever into the water, and the shark comes out of nowhere. And if you're watching the movie for the first time, the way that that scene builds the... Uh, it kind of builds no tension, and the shark comes out, it, it'll really get you. And I think that's when a jump scare is the most effective, when your guard, as like an audience member, is completely down, and you're able to get s thoroughly st like stuck into a scene, and then it just comes out of nowhere. I think Haunting of Hell House did this great with the, the car... I don't know if it was a car crash scene, but where the sisters are arguing and all of a sudden it, the jump scare comes out of nowhere. And there was a similar one, I think, in the movie Hereditary um, where the mom was driving the car and then heard the daughter's sound that she makes. So, yeah, those are some of my favorite jump scares in horror movies. Um, but feel free to comment down below, I guess in the comment section, of what your favorite jump scare moments are. And you can find all of Nerdstra's links and stuff down there in the doobly-doo. Thank you so much for making the video man and doing a guest post. I appreciate you. And now, on to my top five horror movie tropes. The very first one we are going to talk about today is Scary Children. <laughs> This is one of those ones that really gets under my skin. All this stuff gets under my skin in some way, shape, or form. So, but this is this is an, an escalating, uh, upward-moving one. So we're going to number one. But at number five, scary kids. Uh, the other four things barely, barely are above this one. Honestly, if the more I think about it, the more all these are kind of on the same playing field um, for for multiple different reasons. Number one is a big one. Uh, for me though, so let's just get on with the list. At number four, uh, I have unique creature features. I love seeing monsters in movies. I don't care if they're CGI, I don't care if they're practical. Although, like most of you, I do prefer practical, but I've seen some pretty good CGI monsters in my day. They are few and far between, but I have seen them. Um, I, I enjoy anything where human beings are thrust into a situation where they are set upon by a, a not it doesn't have to be alien but an alien presence of some kind um that's tangible so not like a possession or a demon or anything like that i like monsters man in fact there's one movie i believe uh it, i believe it's called monster it's about a uh young woman and her mother breaking down the side of the road and there's a monster in the woods very simple premise amazing movie but yeah, uh, anything with the creature. I even love the movie Boar on Shudder about the 
massive, monstrous boar. Uh, it's good, goofy fun, just don't expect too much from it. Okay, num my number three favorite horror movie trope is anything involving weather and the uh, characters being against the odds because of the weather. I'm going to talk about Sunblind by Michael McBride in the book video, but that's pretty much what I'm talking about. There is another subgenre to this genre that I'm going to that's also on this list, but I'm splitting them up because you don't have to have the weather for number 1. Um the what I'm talking about here is just any time that the weather is a threat. I absolutely love that, whether it be movies or, or books or whatever. And because of that, I'm not going to put this on my book one. Um, I'm just going to leave this one here because I, I actually found seven when I did the book one. But anytime it's really, really cold or even something like acid rain or, you know, just rain or thunderstorm, any, any of those ki kinds of things that actually affect the story, I love. And at number two of my favorite horror movie tropes, I absolutely love anything that involves a slasher or... They don't have to be masked, but I, I prefer them to be masked. <laughs> kind of like people nowadays, right? Anyways, um, but the, the, the main thing is that you have this hulking behemoth of a character that is un seemingly unstoppable, and they have to find a way to stop it. Um, that is not a creature, um, like the creature features. So I really love, un you know, the unstoppable monster um, concept. I've, I've always enjoyed that, but especially in slashers. Um, I don't care how cheesy they are, how goofy, how bad the special effects are, man, I will at least give it a watch. Number one is my favorite horror movie trope of all time, and that is isolation. The fewer people, the better. I do like the dread that comes along with people not trusting themselves when they're closed off from the rest of the world, but I also like watching someone go, you know, either go crazy or deal with a situation where they're alone. Buried with Ryan, Ryan Reynolds, I believe it is, um, an amazing, amazing film, and I hope I got the title right. Uh, literally the entire movie is shot from his point of view inside, well, not from his point of view, but it is shot in the coffin that he's been buried in. I think he might be a war reporter. I can't, I can't remember. Um, I do recall some, a lot of phone calls being done to either the embassy or something like that. I don't know, but the way it ends is perfection when it comes to the horror genre. I look for very specific endings. Um, my horror should end horrifyingly. Um, I'm not one for happy endings in my horror. But yeah, isolation is a big one. Um, John Carpenter's a thing, that kind of thing, man. I love people being stuck somewhere and having to fight their way out, and especially if it's only one person. So that's it for this week's Top 5 Friday. Have you seen well, do you like any? Sorry, do you like any of the tropes that are on, that were on display in this list? I would love to hear your own down there in the doobly doo. Once again, thank you so much to Nerdstra for coming by, uh, shooting that video for me. I appreciate it. Well, he didn't come by. He dropped by the channel, anyways, uh, for doing that for me. We have another special special guest too on the next episode of Top Five Friday. So make sure you tune in for that. But until next time, I have an E. You've been you. This has been another Top 5 Friday. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye!